We got one, folks. We hooked up. <laughs> oh, there's a nice bass, it looks like. Oh, that is a nice bass. Can y'all see that? Hey, folks. Russell here about WA Fishing. Out here at the tidal pool, and we got we got a little bit of overcast that's going to be breaking up shortly. Got a fairly stiff, I'll say stiff breeze, and definitely got some water moving in. We're going to see if, along with this stain, if this is going to lead up to some biting fish. <laughs> but we're going to send out some stuff and see how it goes. I think I'll start by tossing around this Thunder Cricket, see if there's any active feeders here. I'm not sure what to make of the grass yet, but we'll find out. Pretty heavy stain to the water. And sometimes that's good. And sometimes it's not. There's a comet right out there. So there's probably some smaller fish hanging around. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, it's been a while. I've been out here every now and then. <laughs> I forgot your name. Russell. Russell. Are you John? Bill. Bill. Bill <laughs> okay. Sorry. Me, Russell. You too, you too. <laughs> well, the water sure is staying today. Sure it's what? Stain. Stain? How do you yeah. mean it? Stain. C dark colored. Oh, oh, stain. I think. Yeah. Stain. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, it's a comorant. Wish I could do that. I know. <laughs> good morning. Hi. Have a good day. Man. You too, you too. I think this is a good color combination for this stained water. It's worked before. Come on, folks, we hooked up. <laughs> oh, there's a nice bass, it looks like. Oh, that is a nice bass. Can y'all see that? Let's get that net. <laughs> it looks like he's hooked good. We got him. <laughs> we got it, folks. The Thunder Cricket came through. All right, nice. Put a mouthful of that Thunder Cricket. All right. I'm thinking maybe two and a half, two and a half pounds. We'll get a weight on them for, for sure and see. Nice. All right, let's get a weight on them and get them back in the water. Good morning. That's off to a good start there, isn't it? <laughs> yep. Yeah, it sure is. Uh -huh. This is the first one. Yeah. How long you been out? Probably about maybe 15 minutes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so. 
that's promising. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think you still got maybe probably a little less than an hour before high tide. Yeah. on this side yeah yeah I was guessing two and a half two pounds nine ounces close fish all right buddy thanks for showing up I hope you brought your friends. <laughs> All right, we're gonna send out the Yamaganuki. See if anything wants that twitching action. send this crow out there. Right now I've only got a 316 ounce sinker on there. I might have to go heavier passing into this bit. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> okay. I think it's better just lay him down on this bag. Thanks man. Thanks. So far, one two and a half pound bass. It's really? Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm not a fisherman, my dad was. That's pretty good size, isn't it? It is, it is. Good, decent size. Really? Right here. Uh huh. I see people here fishing a lot. You're the first guy I've talked to who's actually caught one that big. Oh, <laughs> I've actually caught bigger here and seen really? bigger caught here, too. Huh. Yeah. Oh, my biggest snakehead I caught here. It was 11 pounds, 9 ounces. <laughs> That rascal made a meal for a couple of days. Really? Yeah. You fry it up. Is that how you? Cook yeah, you can, yeah, you can like cook it any. Fish? Yeah, you can cook it the way you cook catfish, or you can cook it any way you like to. Yeah. That one we fried up. Oh, it's delicious. It's a white flaky meat. Yeah, that's. And it does. Yeah. Doesn't have a doesn't have a fishy taste. Really? No. Taste. That's what I don't like about fresh butter fish. They have a fish. Oh no, snakehead doesn't. Doesn't. <laughs> it's been compared to uh, striped bass compared to chicken. <laughs> wow. Now that's what I used to say about the crocodile. Yeah. It don't taste like chicken. <laughs> Come here, Bob. Come here. 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 Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Thank How's it going? All right. Oh, yeah. Yes. Like I said, if you get a chance to taste snakehead, do it. Yeah. A lot of the restaurants, uh, some of them have it on the menu. Really? Yeah. Because I know it was an invasive species. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And it doesn't, didn't do as much damage as the biologist thought it would. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I don't mind talking about that at all. <laughs> I don't mind at all. <laughs> I think it's the fake lure? Yeah. Actually, I caught it on something else. So you're Sometimes. recording your catching, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, I took a picture of it. Okay. 
Okay. Wow, that's what you caught this morning. Yeah. That's a good size goddamn fish. Where yeah. is it at? Actually, I caught it on this. Oh, I released the bass. Oh, why? Uh, I'm catching them just for fun. So but they're not good to eat? Oh, I'm sure they are. Yeah. Okay. I used to eat them years ago. Oh. Wow, there you go. Good size bass. That's a good size fish. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. I better get out of here. Get the dog out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. <laughs> See you later, man. All right, have a good one. <laughs> Something tugged on it. <laughs> Something tugged on it. I'm gonna throw this little money in a lot there. See if anything can chase it down. I think I'm on, folks. <laughs> All right, I, I looked up. <laughs> oh, it's like a nice one. <laughs> a decent one. Yeah, I think I can land. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Just hit, hit the little minnow. <laughs> All right. There he goes, about a pound and a half. Put the mouth full of that money minnow. <laughs> full of that money minnow. All right. Stickfish. <laughs> That's worse, yeah. <laughs> oh. 
I thought it was one of those big ones that just grab it and hold it. <laughs> Another stick fish. Yeah. I'm the little out there is pulling off the claws. I'm like, <laughs> something little out there is pulling off the claws. <laughs> Got one all right. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Oh man, that's a nice one. That's a good one. <laughs> All right. There you go. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's barely There you go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Solid. You sure can. All right. Two pounds, four ounces. All right. <laughs> Nothing like getting that tug, is it? <laughs> I told you I'd eat that. <laughs> Come on, come on. <laughs> uh, it's a little rascal. <laughs> I wonder if that's the one that's been biting my claws off. <laughs> uh, But I thank him for showing up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, buddy. Hello. You fishing Well, so far I caught three bass. Oh, that's fantastic! Mm -hmm. I didn't realize they came up in here. Oh yeah. Water time too. It helps you not hit snags. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> used to be a fisher woman. Oh. Huh. I thought fishing was like the Marines. Once the fish, I thought fishing was like the Marines. Always a fisherman. Once the fisherman. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. First of all, I'm 80. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fish don't care. Uh, uh, I've I lost know. muscle strength. Oh. So. Uh, and oh. hand strength. I don't have a grip, so it's it's more a body failure than a desire. Oh. I mean, and I used to surf fish in the Outer Banks and yeah. get oh my, blues in the battle. Oh yeah, so much fun. So much, yeah. So much fun. I grew up yeah. in Norfolk, so oh okay, I was fishing. Spots were biting double hook. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> I I once met a 92 year old man in seal fishes. Really? Yeah. Uh. Yeah. I, I might be able to do bottom fishing. I don't, okay. I don't think I could do, you know, like 
Oh, well, that option is open. And I've never used lures that much. Oh, Mostly okay. Just, you know, like worms. Worms. Okay. But hey, hey, it's still to get good to get out there for the peace and relaxation. Ah, I know, I know. Yes. God, <laughs> you know, so I want you to know my husband designed this boardwalk. Oh, he did. Yeah. We well, did a great job. And he well, he, <laughs> yes. he made the path. He, uh -huh. Actually, the park service and the engineers designed it, but they didn't have a way. No, there was no place to get to the Potomac. Mm. And uh, he and another friend who was an engineer says, let's just get our boots on and let's see if there's a way in. All right. We discovered this pathway. <laughs> so I, I, he's passed away four years ago, so okay. I come here to visit him. All right. Yeah, he's, All right. he's here in spirit. All right. <laughs> did he fish? Huh? Did, oh, did yes. he oh, did? Oh, my God. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Most, mostly salt water. Oh, so, okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right, folks. That's all I got time for today. Got three on the day, and <laughs> much better than getting skunked. Got the first one on a thunder cricket with their Mr. Twister curly tail, and on that one I've got uh, my Daiwa Tatula S V. T W at 71 gear ratio on my this is the this is my Luz Custom Elite my seven foot medium heavy and I have it spooled up with a 15 pound test P line tactical the second one. I got on a little money minnow. I put a little chartreuse on the tail and I got it on my Luz Tatula SVTW. This one has 8 to 1 gearing. I slow it down as I need it or use the full speed. On my Veritas, Ferret, the Abu Garcia Veritas PLX. My 7 foot medium heavy fast. Spooled up with 15 pound test P line tactical. And the final bite. Got on the good old Rage Crawl. I use this dark color because of the stained water. And I got it uh, with my Tatula 100 HS. Spooled up with. 40 pound test braid. Um, oh, it's my favorite brand <laughs> right now. I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> On my Ibu Garcia Veritas PLX, seven foot medium heavy, fast action. <laughs> I'll put my favorite braid in the uh, description below. And how about meeting the wife of the engineer that uh, designed and built that little walkway bridge? Hey, that's, that's royalty there. <laughs> and a couple of other nice fishermen there. Everyone is so well-mannered on that bridge. That's one of the reasons I like fishing there. You're not casting over top of each other, giving each other food of space. And I was happy to land that two pound, four ounce for him. Well, folks, for coming out here and having a decent time landing three, meeting some nice folks, a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. Also, hitting that subscribe button and following it up by the bell notification will be greatly appreciated. Well, folks, thanks for watching RWA Fishing. And as always, God bless you.